Construction of a trapezium. In this module, you will learn about finding area and construction of trapezium. A quadrilateral in which only one pair of opposite sides are parallel is called a trapezium. Look at this trapezium EASY. Divide this trapezium into two triangles by drawing a diagonal YA. One triangle has base EA where EA is equal to A units. The other triangle has base YS where YS is equal to B units. We know EA is parallel to YS. So distance between them YF is equal to HA is equal to H units. Now the area of triangle EAY is half A into H and the area of triangle YAS is half B into H. Hence, the area of trapezium EASY is equal to area of triangle EAY plus area of triangle YAS, which is equal to half A into H plus half B into H, equal to half H into A plus B square units, is equal to half into height into sum of the parallel sides, square units. Let us conclude it as area of trapezium A is equal to half H into A plus B square units where A and B are the lengths of the parallel sides and H is the perpendicular distance between the parallel sides. Let us now learn construction of trapezium. Generally to construct a trapezium, we take the parallel side which has greater measurement as base and on that base we construct a triangle with the given measurements such that the triangles lie between the parallel sides. Clearly, the vertex opposite to the base of the triangle lies on the parallel side opposite to the base. We draw the line through this vertex parallel to the base. Now the fourth vertex lies on this line and this fourth vertex is fixed with the help of the remaining measurement. Then by joining the appropriate vertices, we get the required trapezium. To construct a trapezium, we need four independent data, that is, three sides and one diagonal, three sides and one angle, two sides and two angles, four sides. Let's learn how to construct a trapezium with the following measurement given in next slides. Let us first construct a trapezium where three sides and one diagonal are given. Construct a trapezium EFGH in which EF is parallel to HG. EF is equal to 10 cm, FG is equal to 5 cm, EG is equal to 8 cm and GH is equal to 6 cm. Also find its area. Let us construct this trapezium EFGH step by step. Step 1. Draw a rough diagram as per the given measurements. Step 2. Draw a line segment EF equal to 10 cm as baseline. Step 3. With E and F as center, draw arcs of radii 8 cm and 5 cm respectively and let them cut at G. Step 4. Join EG and FG. Step 5. Draw ray GX parallel to FE. Step 6. With G as center and radius 6 cm, draw an arc cutting GX at H. Step 7. Join EH. EFGH is the required trapezium. From G, Draw GM perpendicular to EF and measure the length of GM. We get GM equal to H equal to 4 centimeters. Also given EF is equal to 
A equal to 10 centimeter and HG is equal to B 6 centimeter. So let us calculate the area. In the trapezium EFGH, area of trapezium EFGH is equal to half H into A plus B. Placing the values of H, A and B and calculating it, we get area of the trapezium EFGH equals to 32 centimeter square. Now we will construct a trapezium when three sides and one angle are given. Construct a trapezium ABCD in which line AB is parallel to line DC. AB equal to 8 centimeter, where angle ABC is equal to 70 degree. BC is equal to 6 centimeter and AD equal to 6 centimeter. Calculate its area. Let us construct it step by step. Step 1. Draw a rough diagram and mark the given measurements. Step 2. Draw a baseline segment AB equal to 8 cm. Step 3. At B on AB, make angle ABX, whose measure is 70 degree. Step 4. With B as center and 6 cm as radius, draw an arc cutting BX and mark its intersection as C. Step 5. Draw CY parallel to BA. Step 6. With A as center and 6 cm as radius, draw an arc cutting CY and mark its intersection as D. Step 7. Join AD. Thus, ABCD is the required trapezium. Step 8. From D, draw DT perpendicular to AB and measure the length of DT and CD. So, DT is equal to H equal to 5.6 cm. CD is equal to B equal to 3.9 cm. And AB equal to A equal to 8 cm. Therefore, area of the trapezium ABCD is equal to half into H into A plus B. By placing the values of H, A and B and calculating, we get area of the trapezium ABCD equal to 33.32 cm square. Now we will construct a trapezium when two sides and two angles are given. Construct a trapezium M, N, O, P in which line M, N is parallel to line P, O. M, N is equal to 7 cm. N, O is equal to 6 cm. Angle N, M, P is equal to 80 degree and angle M, N, O equal to 70 degree and calculate its area. Let us construct this Step by step. Step 1. Draw a rough diagram and mark the given measurements. Step 2. Draw a baseline segment MN equal to 7 cm. Step 3. On MN at M, make angle NMX measuring 80 degree. Step 4. On MN at N, make angle MNY measuring 70 degree. Step 5. With N as center and radius 6 cm, draw an arc cutting NY at O. Step 6. Draw OZ parallel to MN. This cuts MX at P. Thus, MNOP is the required trapezium. Step 7. From O, draw OE perpendicular to MN and measure the length of OE. Also measure length of O, P. We get O, E is equal to H equal to 5.6 cm and O, P equal to B equal to 4 cm. Also, M, N is equal to A equal to 7 cm given. Therefore, on calculation, we get area of trapezium M, N, O, P equal to half H into A plus B by placing the values of H, a and B and calculating, 
we get area of the trapezium MNOP equal to 30.8 cm square. Now, we will construct a trapezium when measures of four sides are given. Construct a trapezium PQRS in which line PQ is parallel to line SR. PQ is equal to 7 cm. QR is equal to 5 cm. RS 4 cm and PS 5 cm and calculate its area. Let's draw it step by step. Step 1. Draw a rough diagram and mark the given measurements. Step 2. Draw a baseline segment. PQ equal to 7 cm. Step 3. Mark E on PQ such that PE is equal to 4 cm as SR is equal to 4 cm. Step 4. With Q and E as centers, draw two arcs of radius 5 cm above baseline and let them cut at R. Step 5. Join QR and ER. Step 6. With R and P as centers, and with 4 cm and 5 cm as radii respectively, draw two arcs and let them cut at S. Step 7. Join PS and RS. PQRS is the required trapezium. Step 8. From S, draw SF perpendicular to PQ and measure the length of SF. We get SF is equal to H equal to 4.8 cm and PQ equal to A equal to 7 cm. RS is equal to B equal to 4 cm are given. Therefore, area of the trapezium PQRS can be calculated as half into H into A plus B equal to half into 4.8 into 7 plus 4 we get 26.4 cm square. Now we will learn about construction and area of an isosceles trapezium. In an isosceles trapezium, A, B, C, D, the non-parallel sides are equal in measurement. That is, AD equal to BC, also angle A equal to angle B, and angle ADC equal to angle BCD. Diagonals are equal in length, that is AC equal to BD and AE is equal to BF, since DE perpendicular to AB and CF perpendicular to BA. Now to construct an isosceles trapezium, only three independent measurements are required. As we have two conditions such as 1. One pair of opposite sides are parallel and 2. Non-parallel sides are equal. So let us construct an isosceles trapezium. Construct an isosceles trapezium ABCD in which AB is parallel to DC. AB is equal to 11 cm, DC 7 cm, AD equal to BC equal to 6 cm and calculate its area. Let's construct it step by step. Step 1. Draw a rough diagram and mark the given measurements. Step 2. Draw line segment AB equal to 11 cm. Step 3. Mark E on AB such that AE is equal to 7 cm since DC is equal to 7 cm. Step 4. With E and B as centers and radius 6 cm as BC equal to EC equal to 6 cm, draw two arcs and let them cut at C. Step 5. Join BC and EC. Step 6. With C and A as centers, draw two arcs of radii 7 cm and 6 cm respectively and let them cut at D. Step 7. Join AD and CD. Thus, ABCD is the required isosceles trapezium. Step 8. From D, draw DF perpendicular to AB. 
and measure the length of df. So we get df is equal to h equal to 5.6 cm, ab equal to a equal to 11 cm, and cd equal to b equal to 7 cm given. So, area of the isosceles trapezium ABCD is equal to half into A plus B equals to half into 5.6 into 11 plus 7. So, we get area of isosceles trapezium ABCD equals to 50.4 cm square. Let us revise all that we have learnt in this module. Construction of a trapezium.